Hi guys, so are you ready to draw with me today? So today we will be drawing a blowfish or a puffer fish. So let's get started and if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and the bell icon to get a video every single day because I release a video for you every single day and along the way while I draw I will give you some fun facts about uh, the puffer fish or the blowfish. Um, so from the website softschools.com uh, it has some fun interesting facts so I thought I'll share it with you and if you have any uh, requests for me to draw for next time please let me know by commenting below and I will draw that for you for next time and if you want to connect with me through other social media as well check out the description box below for other um, my Instagram, Facebook and Twitter information is all there so you can connect with me through those media as well and I'll give you some fun facts now uh, puffer fish vary in size from one inch long uh, peach me puffer to a two feet long freshwater giant puffer so main feature common for all puffer fish or blowfish is ability to ingest huge amount of water and air sometimes which increases their body size and turn them into odd uh, looking ball like creatures um, which uh, this which makes the predators scared because it is a very quick transformation and scientists believe that puffer fish developed this tactic as a method of the self-defense because they are poor swimmers and cannot escape from the danger quickly so they found a way to avoid the danger so a lot of interesting facts about the blowfish or the puffer fish um, so I'll share some more with you so you can see the fish that we're drawing now is a blowed up fish so it looks round and all pointy looking so um, this is a fish that uh, transformed and turned into a ball so I will give you some more fun facts here increase of the body size is not the only tactic used against the predators uh, almost all species of puffer fish contain toxins called tetrodotoxin that can be 1200 times 1200 times stronger than cyanide it's pretty bad and one puffer fish contains enough toxins to kill 30 adult men. So toxin is not located in all parts of the puffer fish and certain cu cultures prepare puffer fish. A uh, meal called fugu in Japan as a delicacy. And apparently only a specially trained chefs can clean the fish properly and prepare deli delicious and toxin free meal just one wrong cut of the fish meat can result in death of the customer well if one puffer fish can kill 30 adults uh, from the toxins you have to be very careful i guess if you're trying to eat it um, I don't know why you want to eat this fish when you have all kind all these kinds of foods around the world so um, well that's beyond me but uh, people do eat it and it's a delicacy and sharks are the only species immune to the puffer fish toxin they can eat puffer fish without any negative consequences so if you're a shark you're okay 
So puffer fish can be discreetly or brightly colored. Uh, there is often a relationship between the body coloration and the amount of toxin produced by the fish. Brighter colors are often associated with larger quantity of toxin in the fish. So you can see I'm drawing all these pointy details on the puffer fish because when they blow up they look like a pointy ball. Um, you can google it too if you want to. And uh, to give you some more fun facts, puffer fish can be discreetly or brightly colored like I said before and the brighter the color the more toxins the fish has and puffer fish do not have scales. Their skin is thick and rough. Some species have spines on the skin, which often additional protection, which offer additional protection against the predators. So those are the spines that we are, uh, sorry, the spikes that that we are drawing uh, today. And the most elastic part of their body is skin on the stomach area. When puffer fish ingests water, skin on the stomach expands several times of the normal size of the fish. So those are the fun facts and now I think I'm done with the drawing part so let's go into coloring. So the puffer fish that I'm coloring today or the blowfish um, I'm just going to use brown colors and a little bit of beige to color the puffer fish um, but it is up to you. You can add colors as you wish. Um, and apparently even though they cannot swim that well they can really see well so puffer fish have excellent eyesight and um, they have four teeth that are fused in the beak like structure and they are uh, they use their teeth for opening of mussels clams and shellfish Puffer fish also eat algae and different types of worms and uh, crustaceans. So, um, a lot of fun facts about the blowfish or the puffer fish um, for a person who doesn't really know about them, I guess. And I did not know a lot about them, so I'm learning a lot here. And I find it very interesting. I hope you do too. And you can see I added in a little bit of brown and some black as well. So I hope you are liking this video. So I'm just going to show you the full color drawing now. Uh, because I already showed you how to draw and color. So this is the full color drawing of the puffer fish uh, or the blowfish. I really hope you like it. And if you do like it, don't forget to hit that like button down below and leave a comment for me. And if you would like to buy products with this on, check out Red, my Redbubble shop link in the description box below for products. I have a lot for you to choose from. And now I'm just going to put some next videos for you to check out next. I hope you like those as well. And don't forget to hit on my face logo to subscribe to my channel. I bring a video for you every single day. So I hope you like those videos as well and the other videos that I have on my channel. And as always, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.